hi there welcome to my youtube channel in this video you will learn how to exclude internal traffic from google analytics 4 internal traffic is your own in-house traffic when you and anybody from your organization open site that traffic is also getting counted in ga if you will not exclude them then it will appear in your ga report there are two different ways you can exclude your internal traffic from google analytics report if you search in google that how to exclude internal traffic then you might see that you can do it by adding query parameter campaign tags and even setting an extra cookies on your browser but i would suggest to exclude internal traffic by filtering your ip address in google analytics let's see how to find your ip ad address search what is my ip address you can see your current public IP. If you are at home, then it is likely that you are using a dynamic IP address and dynamic IP address is getting changed. So it is hard to define your IP. If you really need to exclude your internal traffic, then you will have to ask your service provider for a static IP address that doesn't change. Now let's see how to configure IP address to exclude internal traffic in Google Analytics. There are two steps we need to complete. The first step is to define your internal traffic. To do this, we select data stream. Click on admin tab. Click on data stream. Here you can see that there is only one data stream in my account. But if you have multiple streams, then you will have to repeat this for every stream. Click on this data stream. Scroll down. And click on more tagging settings. Click on define internal traffic. Before going further, I want to make it clear that now we cannot troubleshoot your implementation using the debug mode in Google Analytics. This option may be available in future. Now I would create two rules. Click on create. You can see here rule name, traffic type, IP addresses. In first rule, I am defining my own IP. I am naming exclude. traffic from the account in traffic type I'm keeping the account IP address is equal to this is my public IP paste it here and click on create so first rule is created now I'm going to create another filter in which I will uh, include my office IP click on create I'm naming I'm naming it exclude traffic from I'm leaving traffic type internal. My office IP is click on create. Now rule is created. Now we need to activate this rule. Let's get back to property. and go to data setting here you can see data filter click on it now click on create filter select internal traffic let's name the filter
leave it as it is traffic type place your gigant so this is what i have selected in rule now click on activate now click on active and click on create click on active filter data filter is created now this filter will exclude my traffic from the reports in google analytics now i am going to create another filter which will exclude my office traffic click on create filter click on internal name it leave it as it is also leave it as it is check active click on create now that filter is also created so now it is done so in this way you can exclude your internal traffic as previously i mentioned that we cannot test it in debug view in google analytics there is other technique to test it if you use google tag manager as i am using google tag manager let's head to google tag manager since we have already configured the rule and filter in google analytics we are going to make an adjustment in google tag manager this will mean that when we use the preview mode we will be able to see the event collected in debug view to do this let's navigate the variables click on configure scroll down here you can see debug mode check it and close it now click on new let's name it i am naming it traffic type you can put whatever you want let's select variable configuration and scroll down here you can see lookup table in input variable select debug mode click on add row in input enter true in output enter debug save it let's navigate to tags let's find existing ga configuration click on it click on configuration tag to edit click on fill to set click on add row in field name enter traffic underscore type and in value click on plus icon and here you can see traffic type click on it now let's save the tag click on preview click on connect now head back to assistant it is loading now click on last one click on page view we can now see the traffic type which is represented by tt now has a value of debug this has overwritten the rule we set up in google analytics which also mean it will not be filtered out as internal traffic the technique we have covered in google tag manager means you don't need to make any further adjustments your internal traffic will be excluded from report and you can use the debug view when you are previewing your container using google tag manager so that how you can exclude your internal traffic from google analytics for report using traffic rule and filter thanks for watching